Let me just read to the young people that are here and to the children. The Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4 and verse 9, Only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and lest they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life, but teach them thy sons and thy son's son. The young people, I want to talk to you this morning about Mr. Forgetful. Mr. Forgetful is book number 14 in the series of the Mr. Men by Roger Hardgraves. Now, Mr. Forgetful has no family. He has very few friends. And he lives in his little village along with Miss Wise, Miss Scatterbrain, Mr. Lazy, and Mr. Dizzy. Now, Mr. Forgetful has a big problem. And you already know what it is because it's in his name. He's prone to forget things. At times, he's absent-minded. He's easy distracted. He's a bit of a daydreamer, uh, Miss um, Wise says. His head is in the clouds. Now, one day, Mr. Forgetful was giving a very important message to deliver to farmer fields. Now, here was the message. There's a sheep loose in the lane. So go and tell farmer fields there's a sheep loose in the lane. So off Mr. Forgetful sat. And he hadn't got very far and he began to think, now what was that message? And he began to think, oh, what was that message? Oh, what was it? So eventually when he got the farmer fields, he wasn't sure about the message. Remember, he's absent minded he's prone to forget things and then he said to farmer fields oh i've got the message now this is what miss wise told me there's a goose asleep in the rain and the farmer looked at him farmer fields what a goose asleep in the rain i don't understand it so off he went about his business you see aren't we a lot like mr forgetful I'm like Mr. Forgetful. When it comes to appointments, if they're not in my diary, and sometimes it's which diary, I'm prone to forget appointments. If I'm going to visit some of you, I've been driving along in the car, Balna Hinch, St. Field, and I wanted to bring you a card, or a book, or some other little thing, and I have forgot about it. And it's only when I'm near your house that I remember, oh, I was supposed to bring that. Or forgetting where I put my keys. And I'm hunting around the house looking for them. Or going to the shop, standing in Eurospar. Now, what did Rosie say I was to bring? Yes, I know. Potato crisps. Chocolate. Coca-Cola. So I'm home. And then I'm asked, well, where's the milk? And where's the potatoes? And where's the bread? And where's the butter? And where's the bacon? Oh, was I to get them things? Of course you were. You see, Mr. Forgetful, prone to forget. Now I've learned to either phone when I'm in the shop or learned to write it down. You see, is there not a commonality about forgetfulness? There's 61 references in the Bible to the word forget. And the children of Israel were very prone to forget things. They forgot the Lord. They left him out of their life. They forgot that there was a God in heaven when they were in trouble. They forgot that he's a God of love and grace and mercy. Think of this. Here they are. They're set free from the land of Egypt. No longer under Pharaoh's rule. They have been delivered by the power of the blood of the Lamb. They have crossed the Red Sea. God has destroyed Pharaoh and his army in the Red Sea. They're now in the wilderness. They're heading to Canaan land. And very soon after a few days they were there. In the wilderness. They forgot how good and merciful God was. They forgot his power. Do you know what they wanted to do, children? They wanted to go back to Egypt. They started to complain about the food that they had. 
They wanted to go back. They were prone to forget. And here's Moses, and he has to tell them, even 40 years after they've left Egypt, lest I forget the things which thine eyes have seen. Could I tell you something else? There's consequences for forgetfulness. Do you know what the Bible says in a very serious text of Scripture? All nations that forget God shall be turned into hell. You think of the multitude of people that live without the Lord and die without the Lord, that forget what manner of God he really is, forget to hear and heed his word. The wicked shall be turned into hell and all nations that forget God. Now I want to tell you one other little thing. There's a cure for forgetfulness. And I'm amazed at Roger Hardgraves. You see, Mr. Forgetfulness in his book, he never changed. He was still the same. And a lot of people get very upset by Roger Hardgraves' book. They actually wrote in to complain because we know that there's a lot of people suffer from a very serious thing called dementia, which is taking forgetfulness to a really different level where they don't even know who they are or who their family is or where they're at. And that is a very, very serious medical problem. And we should pray for those that are coping with dementia and those that are caring for them. But I was thinking, no change for Mr. Forgetfulness. But you know, there's a cure for our forgetfulness. Remember what I said about myself? I have learned to phone. I have learned to write things down. I've got my little notes. So when I'm in the Euro spa, I know it says milk and potatoes and bread and butter and bacon. And I forget about the potato crisps and the chocolate and the Coca-Cola. Uh, Rosie says I'm getting too fat anyway. The word of God, when it's written down, doesn't the Bible tell us, you young people, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth? Could, could I tell you something? Do you know God has given us Wonderful things whereby we can remember him. You think of our communion feast, the bread and the wine. What's that all about? Why was that instituted? So we would not forget him. So not only do I have the word of God, but we've got the communion feast. And you know, in the word of God, we've got God makes a wonderful promise. You know what he says? Even if a mummy forgets her children, even if she abandons them, I'll not forget you. I will not forsake you. I have graven you in the palms of my hands. So there is a commonality about forgetfulness. And there's consequences that that flow from it. And that's why all these forget-nots were issued in the Bible, because they're all standing warnings. But here's the cure, to remember the things that you've seen. Remember the word that's written down, and to think of these things so that we can recall them to mind and we can know and enjoy and love our God. Mr. Forgetfulness, may the Lord bless you this morning, young people and children.